Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Today I want to talk about one of the new exploits. It's been around for like, I don't know, about a week, two weeks now. And it is pretty insane. If this is the first time on the channel, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe as well. That would be absolutely phenomenal. We're about to hit 7,000 subscribers. So it would be awesome to hit it sometime around after this video. Going straight into it though, the latest exploit is at Line in the Sand. Now this is not entirely like game breaking or anything like that. You don't need to do any mad exploit. It's not like a xp glitch so to speak i wouldn't have said because it's not something you can just keep spawning and spawning or replacing and placing but it is some form of glitch in that sort of sense really so basically all you got to do is when the line of uh, line in the sand event starts you want to place a survival tent or get someone you know with fallout first to place a survival tent at one of the gate entrances at the start where didn't you know, like where the scorch come flying in from Basically place your tent down there and it completely messes up the spawn. I did try and do this with two tents, um, but I think you've got to pretty much place it directly in between the gate from what I've seen. Otherwise, it sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes it just completely messes up the spawns and they only spawn in like two areas. So when it did it with two tents, it was spawning right at the left hand side next to like the guard building thing next to the gate and then over right on the far uh, right hand side. So you've got to just place one. I wouldn't try it with any more than one. Just place one in between the gates. And then, as you can see on screen, basically, you just keep getting the Scorch to appear right next to the bit that you've got to defend. I can't remember the name because I'm not looking at the screen right now, but the radio emitter thing, whatever the hell you want to call it. Basically, they just keep falling and falling. Now, this is really dodgy in a sense because it can actually cause a lot of issues. Like... This can cause you to blue screen. I know people that this causes blue screen like every time they do it. So I wouldn't directly recommend it, especially if you're playing on like an older console or not a ideal PC. But it is a little way to get a bunch of XP. Like this video I got like, in this video clip, I think I got just shy of 20,000 XP. Now, if you want to like properly maximize that, obviously use all the buffs and stuff like that that you can think of. You want to be using like the lunch boxes, the canned meat stew, or if you're a herbivore, use the correct stuff for that. Obviously, there is videos out there on all the different buffs that you can get. So make sure to look all of them up if you want to like make sure you get the max amount of XP from them. But it is pretty nuts. Like this is, I think I just used lunch boxes. I don't even think I was like well rested as well. Um, and I think I might have had canned meat stew on. And I got nearly 20,000, so that is just bonkers. I leveled up like two and a half times through, in fact, no, because I started 7,000. So I got like 7,000 up to the next one, got the next one, and then I got up like 5,000 XP between the next weekly score rank. And it was just absolutely nuts. It's crazy. But if you want to make the most out of this as well, you want to be using a Tesla. So if you get a Tesla rifle and you just basically spray the floor beside where all these scorches are spawning, and that'll give you like hits on all of the Scorch spawning in if you just keep spamming the Tesla. And that'll give you so much XP. Like obviously in this video here, I was vatsing and just spraying. So I wasn't getting hits on every Scorch that was spawning in. But if you use the Tesla, obviously it's going to hit all of them and you'll get even more XP. It's a bit of a crazy one and I don't know how long it's actually going to be in the game because it is a bit of a mess when it's on like... I don't know if in this clip it shows, but it gets so laggy, especially if you get like a lot of people here. It can cause blue screens, like I said earlier, and the server, I don't know about the server actually, but the area, if you're doing the event, just guns absolutely crazy. Same as many events in this game, to be fair. If like the new dailies come out and there's loads of people at a certain event, it gets laggy in general. And, and this particular one, when there's loads of people there doing this glitch, it really does get pretty rough. Like I streamed the other day and it got rough in there and it wasn't great. But yeah, that's a little exploit for you. If you had seen it and you didn't know what was going on, why they were spawning like that, this is the reason the survival tent just messes up the spawns. But that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. I don't recommend, well, yeah, I kind of do recommend doing it because you get a load of XP, but at the same time, I don't recommend doing it because it just creates a lag. So I know there's going to be some people out there complaining about this in the comments. So enjoy yourselves. Leave a comment. Drop a comment down below though of your thoughts. Do you agree with this? Do you not agree with it? I just thought it was a little thing to share with you and explain because I know some people won't have a clue what's going on. 
And it's a good little way to get some XP if you are struggling with the uh, scoreboard pass, season pass. I was going to call it a battle pass, but it's not a battle pass, but you know what it is. Never mind. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And that's it. Yeah, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be awesome. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.